So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Yuvon Salas 4. We are of course playing with Amber our fantasy mod as the elves in Ibava. And... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Let's continue on. <laughs> We're currently saving up money for the uh, uh, level 3 send of uh, after 8 here in Ibava. <coughs> we also have done our conquest here and we're currently throwing out some more humans. And we do have to do another bit of conquest here, and that one, of course, does involve the empire, the emperor, to be precise, which is which we're just gonna have to do. Like, there's no uh, uh, way to not do that. Uh, ben on as allied to the enemy. You are all war exhausted. Okay, but we should be somewhat alright. I mean, you guys have actually just good leaders. Nothing else crazy. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna do this when we have our manpower back. And we're also really just gonna do this to try to get these two provinces. We don't care about anything else. So the occupation is gonna be important and just like protecting our territory. We're not gonna strike out unnes unnecessarily. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just... I mean, it, it's, I'm not gonna use it. Like, we're gonna... There we go. So, glad that we talked about that. <coughs> but yeah, we're still doing other stuff. paper. What kind of st stuff do we have around here? We do have fairly good resources, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Spy network done. Lovely. And also, of course, here. That we also immediately turn on the development cost reduction and core this stuff. Very cool. I mean, we also want to do this conquest as soon as possible, sort of, so we can once again like throw the rest out of the uh, of the humans, and then turn off the exp expulsion. I mean, the other claims we do get a lot later on, as far as I remember, right? We're gonna get like here or something. Yeah, that's where we get our next uh, bit of conquest. We have to do all of the other stuff in between. All oh, right, we're gonna get this free this free branches thing. I have not looked into that at all. <laughs> and what are kind of decisions we have to do there. But I'm very open towards what's gonna come up anyway. We're just gonna make decisions uh, on a normal basis. Of what we like. What are, uh, whatsoever. Uh, what do we have actually... I would like to take a look at this kind of... So we're gonna conquer up to here. And up to here. And that's it. That's basically our, all the conquest that we want. Oh yeah, look at that. We need 25 development in all... Bro no wait, it's prosperous or 25 development. But I feel like we're gonna have the 25 uh, development in all provinces. Oh, I, also, I also looked at uh, uh, development cost reduction and discipline. So I have, like, the discipline is very easy. Offensive, quality, and then econo economic ideas. That's basically all the discipline that you can gather. With the development cost reduction, there is one that I could also get by quantity and economic. And even though I I very often say I'm not a friend of uh, quantity, I'm probably gonna get it. Because, like I said, we're gonna focus on incredible, to incredibly tall play with these guys. <coughs> the tallest of plays. Also, we are gonna have the colonialism spawn soon enough. We want these guys happy. Uh, no. We want these guys happy. Uh, these guys happy. Are you guys gonna be happy? You're gonna be happy. Before we do any development, we have the prosperity, encourage development. Now oh, we just need a uh, market, uh, like the level 3 cent of trade. And you might make the argument that probably we have better choices of where we should dev up. But I want a big ass capital. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually no there's actually no reason for us to do that funnily enough oh yeah sure <coughs> there's no reason for us to focus on the capital in terms of development i mean we would have the extra 13 percent but technically speaking from uh Esk eskin would be <laughs> a thousand times better probably <laughs> farmlands i mean that's already 20 percent less so it kind of immediately pays. I mean, we're not going to put the uh, thingy and elsewhere, obviously. That's for sure. 
Ah, there we go. Offensive. But... Oh, yeah, we're gonna probably do it here. Yeah. Just, just, just let it spread out from here. That's it. I mean, it has not spawned yet, it seems. Because we probably would see that spawning, because we see all of the important places for that. So yeah, we're gonna pick it up in S-Skin. Especially also, like, l just look at the comparison um, in the, at the moment already. Like, there's no arguing about that. And we can also, of course, do this one here to level 2. You know what? I might even like that more. Yeah. Let's also get rid of all of this one again. Of course, still need to core this stuff, but that's all in a day's work. Getting the governing capacity, which we don't need at all. With our kind of uh, uh, playstyle. I also found out that I actually... Me recording all of this in one go is completely unnecessary. Because... Uh, uh, <laughs> there is no work to be done. <laughs> well, like, there is work to be done, but it's not like... Uh, uh, that difficult. I feel like Les Lindfarts just throws me into these wars and then just... Doesn't give a shit anymore. Give it many points what I. That's a lot of people you're getting involved in here. I mean, I guess when we don't need to do this one necessarily, even though this is gonna be fairly powerful because I think that also gives the other places a little bit of love. I mean, we can do one thing that we definitely want to do anyway, and that is this fort here. <coughs> I think we're gonna keep the fort in the capital. Just because I'm gonna have fo plenty of forts anyway. Oh, come on. Come, come. There's, bigger, there's bigger fish to fry. Alright, give it us out. Lovely, that immediately reduces the numbers here. Oh, you're fighting against... Okay, yeah, if you're fighting against a Stalin, that's gonna be a little bit harsher. A silver forge is actually, is actually very close to voting for me, funnily enough. <laughs> Ryan is out. There we go, colonialism spawns. But we are currently at war, we don't have many points anyway, so I'm com currently alright with not going crazy. I mean, I think later on maybe we're gonna actually kick up the capital, obviously. I mean, we're gonna kick all of this up. But for now I think this is gonna be the de a decent choice, either way. Why did you increase? I mean, we do have the devastation here, which is gonna get reduced. And I guess that's one thing we don't have prosperity here. But still. I mean, we can we just take a look at that. It's gonna be this 2.665. 5. Uh, wait. Oh, Bannon is. Uh, okay, Bannon was on our side. We also have military technology to gain here. Hmm, I mean, um, oh yeah, the devastation came from that, yes. I mean, it does kind of encourage me to do it. I mean, the capital is the capital. <laughs> let's uh, let's say it like that. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, we have some rebels coming around and cardio separatists. Fun thing is, like, these guys immediately go down if they get switched out, which kind of encourages me to switch them out as quick as possible, really. Oh. Getting picked. Yes. That was... Play dancers. <coughs> okay. I think you guys are not really gonna do much there. I mean, many one I mean, Stalin is big enough as well. I feel like this war is gonna take a little while longer. And the thing is, like, another thing that kind of really makes this amazing is we already get the events. Right? We already get the thingy events. The level 3 advice advance. Of the stability or prestige. Which also really pays for that. Quite, like, this is one of the reasons why I like to get the uh, innovativeness ideas at the beginning. Of course, we do add up a lot of modifiers here at the moment. And of course, in a bunch of years, this is not going to be as crazy anymore, but... I mean, what the hell? 
All right. Okay, yeah, our armies. Uh, in, at this point already. Ridiculous. I mean, we're gonna get so much more discipline still. I mean, there's the normal stuff like absolutism that's gonna get in there. Advisors. If the guy's maybe strict or something. Uh, we can also actually increase this army size a little bit. You're gonna get a horse. I feel like you guys should uh, should probably s stop struggling and just give up. Did you ever think about that? Uh, this guy left. Uh, but then we can do this instead. Oh, look at you! Okay, yeah. My dude. <coughs> uh, this is a question. If I would declare war on you now... I mean, yeah, of course, there would be less people involved. <laughs> Technically. Oh no, your guy is gruel. I guess we have to wait a few years until you get switched out for something in more interesting. But the army is definitely now packing a little bit of size as well. I mean, that's not really a help, is it? I mean, I guess it is a, a help, obviously. But like, not crazy. Very poor choice, my friends. Very poor choice. Especially now, because now it even has more... Did you just walk over my fort, you bastards? Now hold up, wait a minute. Seems like you guys made a little bit of a bad decision there. I mean, not gonna lie. You're ruining my prosperity. Uh, do you know that? I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna throw these guys out as soon as possible. I don't give a shit. This is prosperity that's getting reduced here. I mean, if you, to be honest, let's phrase it as simple as it is. The ice decision just basically w uh, uh, made them uh, uh, made this and win the war. Because if there's one thing that I am, it's uh, it's vengeful. <laughs> Fuck all of you guys. I'm. Li <laughs> Okay, but the devastation should be gone, so this grows again. Lovely. I mean, I lost a few guys in that time, but... Yeah, that's meaningless. Alright, that bit of army is dead. I mean, they, w they still have a... Okay, that's uh, surprising. I mean, I feel like these guys are gonna run here again anyway, because the AI is like that. <coughs> Yep. Well, time to delete more people. <laughs> At least we're gonna get a few favors, right? Talking about favors. That must grow. How are you looking? Alright, nothing special. Uh, I'm ready to start that fight. With this morale. I mean, we're already, we're already pokering on fucking damage. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's early game, but no, we are, we are already uh, dealing with damage. <laughs> I mean, look at this. That's just unfair, isn't it? <laughs> We're deleting armies left and right. That's just unreasonable. You know what? If we have this planned like that, we can also build all of this stuff until we're down at 200. Oh, to 100. That also works. I mean, we're gonna... When all of the stuff is built, our money gain is gonna be significantly increased. We're also making a little bit of army tradition here. Oh, we can also give you another dude. I mean, currently horses are still alright, so of course we're gonna build some. <laughs> What's this? What have you planned here? Okay, they're not doing anything crazy. You know what, we should keep up the domination. Uh, that was not wise. Oh, the, the thing is locked here. Okay, done. Okay, done. We don't do that. I mean, I did want to go to war with uh, these guys here, but you are kind of not really living it, are you? Okay, the other movement is already alright again. I know what. Let's just end this war as quickly as we can. Oh, wow. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> did you see how quickly I did that? Sheer power of will that was. <laughs> 
Okay, now's the question. Uh, do we want to do the colonialism first, or do we want to push this one first? I, I've de I have decided that I... I mean, current, now I've not done... Yeah, we're gonna do it here. Screw it. <coughs> because currently Damascrown still has a leader who is not gonna join us. And I would like Dam I would like Damascrown to join. Just so we have another dude to, that can punch. Yeah. They have the war exhaustion as well. Royal Patronage. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna get innovated on this anyway, but... Hmm... That would of course... I know what's screwed. Let's quickly do it like that, so we have this one upgraded. Let me do this one, because who gives a crap? Alright. I don't care. You guys are happy enough? Yep. We should probably use admin instead of military points. Because military we currently have an idea group, yeah. So this one is all gone and then we can go crazy here. Should get a stun in one. Oh we cannot get a stun in one thingy. Okay, you know what. Oh come on! <laughs> Fuck these guys. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There goes the loan. But we're gonna have a few more loans anyway. Uh, that's gonna be admin. <coughs> I mean, to be honest, we're, gun we're giving Leslin Pa a lot of love here. Not gonna lie, I mean. <laughs> we are a kingdom, right? Yeah. The Ark Kingdom, so an Empire is gonna be the next thing. So, Master Gruder died, but we are gonna do that. Look at colonialism. And we're gonna keep, of course, all of these development cost reductions active. That's just how we are. Why is there no level 3 advisor? I guess we're gonna take... I mean, to be honest, morale of armies currently is, is a lot more effective than discipline. But I feel, it feels like we're currently already doing more than enough damage. To kind of make this pay anyway. We can also have another dude here. Let's keep that in mind. Because now we can fight against the Emperor. I was like how much trade we're currently pushing in here because of all of the stuff that we have. I guess we also now kind of really pushed something in here. There's one more elven, uh, uh, one more human maturity that we currently have. I mean, if we don't have Damas Crown, I mean, we have allies. We don't need super, uh, like, a crazy amount of war score. Actually, something that I probably should have checked is the... This is meaningless, right? Yeah, nobody gives a crap. Currently gives a crap. Even these guys have forgotten that I've conquered this, basically. <laughs> That's how good I am at reducing that. Oh, we're losing great power status again. That's not cool. Oh, because I don't have the, do not have it embraced, and we, de we technically don't have much development, <laughs> which is defective. That's the only thing. Uh, we can do that, obviously. To get all of this stuff back, gonna get all of the crown land. I mean, we do have a lot of stuff to remove when absurdism comes around, but that is acceptable. All right. Autonomy. How's that looking? I mean, we still have some left, but it is definitely going down. Uh, this one, for example, actually doesn't have much problems. I mean, it should go down very quickly, despite it of a strong aristocrat. And I think with these bonuses here, we can just easily reduce the autonomy. So, there we go. Get rid of autonomy. That's not a dude. Uh, how we... 160. Okay. That's one loan. <coughs> With that we're making a decent amount of army. Ah, oh, goddammit. We're removing all of the minorities. Uh, these guys are not really gonna rise up. I could technically reduce the stuff here. That of course would cause still a bunch of problems, but... I feel like the way I'm playing... This might even make sense. 
I'm gonna be alright with rebellions. I don't have much warp land. Have I? If we immediately get our full pu uh, our full punch, I mean this is now a bunch of rebellions, but I think I've my army has proven that they can punch them down. I I even would be willing to take uh, another artillery here right away. Felt hearts were fur. I'm maybe even Nile is actually doing fairly alright. Yeah, they have a colony already. Did you spawn colonialism? I don't think it did. We could also embrace it technically, but uh, no. It's just a matter of time here. And basically our autonomy is now gone. Our army is strong. We're also definitely good looking. But we're elves, I mean of course we're good looking. <laughs> we have two loans to repay. But Damas Grand is out of the war. The ruler's probably still cruel, right? And you have war exhaustion. Uh, when was the next election? When ruler dies. Oh. I mean, he's 63. He's gonna die any moment now. I mean, humans... Are <laughs> Do humans even live? <laughs> okay, we're gonna uh, build a manufactory. We already get manufactory building uh, uh, <laughs> events. And to be honest, looking at our... Looking at the amount of uh, centers of trade we have, there's only three we actually kind of won from our mission tree, right? Or maybe one more, like four. But still, overall, it's, it's a very little amount. So this is not going to change much if we don't develop. We're also not losing great, great power status, that's also not bad. These guys are drilled to the, out of the fucking bazoo. Hmm. I mean, it's a question now. I mean, we need to wait for war exhaustion anyway. Th I mean, Damas Crown is strong. Damas Crown is strong. Yeah, we do want them on our side. I mean, we're mainly now using our allies to not get uh, uh, devastation in our territory. I mean, of course, this territory here is still fairly open to devastation because there's no forts here. But are they really moon elves? I don't think so. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Excuse me? Mahold is throwing out the dwarves. Why? Okay, that's interesting. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even throwing out the dwarves. I would love to have dwarves. Fucking goods produced and construction uh, production efficiency. Okay, it, it feels like we're gonna have the, uh, plenty of stuff thrown out before anything happens. Let's take the gross expansion impact. I mean, we are not part of the empire, so we cannot take the other one, the decentralized empire thing. And we can let this grow easily. We're gonna save the points as well, so we don't need to pay anything extra. I probably can also easily take higher level advisors, to be honest. I might even do that when someone dies. I'm gonna just to go to level 4. I mean, 2.6. <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing at all. <coughs> and when is the, re the, the reduction is not gonna be, like, crazy, is it? Like, we're gonna lose, of course, the culture modifier, uh, the, the one here. This one? But that's only 20%. I mean, of course, it will do some work, but... the long run, I'm kind of alright. That's really too up then. The feeling is mutual. I mean, to be honest, at this point, I'm I would be willing to fight against everybody. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're in another war? Okay. Then that makes no sense. Then we're just gonna quickly speed that up. Get these guys' morale back. And I also want to get this started, or at least maybe even finished before the episode ends. <laughs> so, one more. Wait, how the fuck are we growing so well in prestige? Oh, Elven Administration, Patron of the Arts, Great Power. Okay, our decay is basically non-existent. So. 
Seven K troops here. You know how it is. Let's delete these armies. And just get them when they are jumping on our border. Nope, there we go, that also works. We're immediately gonna go for this conquest, and then we need to hold these places as well as possible. We could piece out some other guys around, just squeeze some money out of them. That they all mosh up together, but I, f I think I can easily get this done if I want it. And the thing is, like, Leslin Par suffering from it, not me, so... Where am I to give a crap? Uh, let's see. These two are involved as well, so those are gonna be directly... I mean, we can actually walk through everything, right? Uh, you have a mage leader? Oh, a fairly good one at that. Yeah, there's a lot of people involved. Uh, we're not doing that yet. It wouldn't do it change much anyway. Oh, there we go. That's not a boost of morale. Uh, is that alright? Oh, we cannot walk here anyway. We're gonna feel all of the thingies. I mean, you also have a mage leader, which is then meaningless. Vestam is involved. I mean, Leslin Pa seems... looks like they're gonna get thrown out soon-ish. Oh, the siege is gonna take forever. Oh, there we go. There's our target. These guys we gladly fight. I mean, I also wouldn't mind the tech advantage, really. Okay, but yeah, like I said, we are willing to fight, t take these fights. I mean, those are elves as well, but... We are better elves. Go away. Alright, let's let these guys run into us. If they really want to. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take these small deaths. I mean, we not, do not have, like, that much manpower that we can just waste around, but... We can kill a bunch of guys. That's, it's not like that. And we are elves, we are faster than you. Uh, the conquest is Argaldresia, which is also their capital. Fantastic. That's already a bunch of dead guys. Uh, I'm willing to make this fight happen here. I mean, did you... Did you... Uh, you didn't cancel the alliance. Lovely. You just want to get them out of the war. Good. There we go. Sure, welcome. There we go. Argaldresia is also dealt with. Let's see, can we get some uh, death here? Uh, is that wise? It should, yeah, I think it's decent. I definitely think it's decent. Yeah, especially if you don't have friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm having, I love this. I love this so much. Our armies are so ridiculous already. Hi. Right, how much would that cost? Let's actually get, take this look at it quickly, quickly. Okay, 36. You're already feeling a little bit sad. Understandably so. Oh, that's better. This is this is actually mountains. Bye, Moonhaven. So only Silverforge is part of this. Yeah, and if, if they jump on Silverforge, be my guest. <laughs> Be my guest to jump at Silverforge. <laughs> That's a perfect place to make death happen. So... We're gonna go back. Oh no, there's another army. Hello. Hello. Good day. <laughs> Completely abused the poor AI. That's like the way the monthly tick. West, um, no. Oh, but these guys actually escaped. Let's give them that. I think so, Forge. Wait a second. Who the hell is that? Oh, this. Ah, I see. Wait a second. Peace arm? Can we piece you out? We can separate piece you out. Give me your money. Bye. That's more war score. Let's recover a little bit. Let's also do this one as well. Uh, we had some rebels, of course. That is important. Uh, you join this army if you can, Silverforge. That would be fantastic. 
So, you're not gonna occupy anything. We have the Noble Rebels also probably coming up, but we'll be ready for that. We're not quite sad yet. But like I said, we also don't want to lose like a shit ton of uh, manpower here. So, let's get these guys over here. Take the 15 admin. Because I see a very good opportunity arriving here. To just show some strength. This, I mean, this is gonna be a massive fight, clearly. Wait, do you have a mage leader? Oh, you do? Cool. <laughs> Conflict is all in the mind. Let's prove strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you goofballs. You absolute goofballs. Let's kill everything on the way. Def, def, def. All the, to all the little stacks running around. Alright, there's not a big fight. They are taking the penalty here. They have a. They, they have once again a better leader, but. Oh, this this, this cost a little bit, cost a little bit of manpower, but it was fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was entertaining enough. Ah, there we go. They have boys w running into us again. Have no worries. Starless Knights. House of Evil. How far are we here? Oh, we. I think we're gonna get this done this episode. Let me just kill a bunch more stuff. It also looks like they are separating themselves again. I mean, we're not gonna have much war going on afterwards. That's a zero. Okay, but that's that. 43. Oh, you guys are running away again. Where's Silverforge actually? Are they sieging some. Uh, they, they want to siege something again. Be my guest. I mean, I, I mean, numbers-wise, yeah, that is clearly... But we are just defending ourselves here. <laughs> we are no villains. <laughs> they are clearly uh, being uh, bringing in the hostility. Oh, there we go. You guys do that again. Now, oh, this is gonna be a few losses, but... These guys show up, and then things change around. I mean, this should be enough. Yep, we take these two provinces. This not, doesn't matter. Okay, a little bit of money. Yoink. We're just quickly flexing on the Empire now, casually. But here we go. Securing the South. That's also a bunch of points as well. Uh, what do we need for this here? Okay, but yeah, like I said. Now we need... Wait. Didn't get claims on this stuff. So I need to do this claim myself. Okay. Well, there we have another uh, focus then. Let's build a spy network so I don't forget it. And we're gonna end this episode here. What the fuck? Okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, all well, traditions are traditions also. Okay. That's just gonna be ridiculously expensive, but hey. I guess I'll see you guys around next episode. Bye.